I, Mormon, make a record of the things which I have both seen and heard, and call it the Book of Mormon. Now behold, it has been almost four hundred years since the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and it came to pass that after the time of his coming his disciples formed a church in all the lands round about, and as many as did truly repent of their sins were baptized in the name of Jesus, and they did also receive the Holy Ghost. And it came to pass that the people were all converted unto the Lord upon all the face of the land, and there was no contention in the land because of the love of God which did dwell in the hearts of the people. And there were no envyings, nor strifes, nor lyings, nor murders, and surely there could not be a happier people among all the people who had been created by the hand of God. There were no Nephites or Lamanites, nor any manner of ites, but they were in one the children of Christ and heirs to the kingdom of God. And the people multiplied and were spread upon all the face of the land, and they had become exceedingly rich because of their prosperity in Christ. And now almost two hundred years did pass away, and there was righteousness across the whole face of the land. Nevertheless, two hundred years after the sign of the birth of Christ had been given, there began to be those who were lifted up in pride, such as the wearing of costly apparel and all manner of fine things. And behold, there began to be a great wickedness in the land. Now the whole face of the land had become covered with buildings, and the people were as numerous almost as it were the sand of the sea. But wickedness did prevail upon the face of the whole land, and the work of miracles and of healing did cease because of the iniquity of the people. And over three hundred years did pass since the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Amaron, who was the keeper of the records, came unto me, Mormon, when I was ten years of age, and said unto me, Mormon, I behold that thou art a sober child, and art quick to observe. Therefore, when ye are about twenty and four years old, I would that ye should go unto the land of Antum, unto a hill which shall be called Shim. And there I have deposited unto the Lord all the sacred engravings concerning this people. And ye shall engrave on the plates of Nephi all the things which ye have observed concerning this people. Now behold, when I was fifteen years of age, there began to be a war again between the Nephites and the Lamanites. And notwithstanding I being young, was large in stature, Therefore the people of Nephi appointed me, that I should be the leader of their armies. This was the beginning of nearly sixty years of continual war and bloodshed among the Nephites. In the beginning my people were able to withstand the Lamanites and turn them back. But they did boast in their own strength, and began to swear before the heavens that they would avenge themselves of the blood of their brethren who had been slain by their enemies. Father, I cannot believe the things that I have heard the men of our army saying. They have sworn by all things holy and sacred, even all that is forbidden, to go up to battle against the Lamanites and avenge the blood of their brethren. What can we do? They are so consumed by hate and wickedness. I have loved them with all my heart, and my soul has been poured out in prayer unto my God all the day long for them. Nevertheless, it was without faith because of the hardness of their hearts. Thrice have I delivered them out of the hands of their enemies, and they have not repented of their sins. I refuse to be a commander and a leader of this people because of their wickedness and abominations. Is this the end of us then, Father? Yes, Moroni, my son. Because they have not repented after the Lord has delivered them, they shall be cut off from the face of the earth. I wish that I could persuade all the ends of the earth to repent and prepare to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Father, Thy words upon these plates will accomplish that desire. They will be preserved to be had among the children of men, even unto the Gentiles and unto all the house of Israel, that all may be persuaded that Jesus is the Christ. Yes, Moroni, I do rejoice in the knowledge that I may be an instrument in the hands of the Lord. But my heart is filled with sorrow, for I know we will yet witness many great and terrible things. Our people have looked upon me as though I could deliver them, but I am without hope for I know the judgments of the Lord which shall come upon them. O ye fair ones, how could ye have departed from the ways of the Lord? O ye fair ones, how could ye have rejected that Jesus, who stood with open arms to receive you? O that ye had repented before this great destruction had come upon you! But behold, ye are gone. And the Father, yea, the Eternal Father of heaven, knoweth your state, and he doeth with you according to his justice and mercy.
and from this time forth did the Nephites gain no more power over the Lamanites, but began to be swept off by them even as dew before the sun. And it is impossible for the tongue to describe or for man to write a perfect description of the horrible scene of blood and carnage which was among the people. And every heart was hardened, so that they delighted in the shedding of blood continually.